Dude, that 2022 season. Stinker. Okay, for Oklahoma, up until this point, it seems as if I've given Oklahoma all the losses because this is their first introduction into the SEC. I had this theory and this thought um, last year when, you know, the USC, UCLA was going to the Big Ten, Oklahoma, Texas was going to the SEC, when everybody was doing their conference realignment. I made a bold, bold statement where I think Oklahoma and Texas, I think both teams, and even down to USC and UCLA for the Big Ten, I think all these teams that are coming into their new conferences, I think they can compete if they have a competent quarterback and a head coach. What did we see last year? Quinn Ewers went into Tuscaloosa. Dropped an L right on Nick Saban's head. Do I think Oklahoma has a competent coach and quarterback? That is yet to be determined. Dylan Gabriel's not in the driver's seat anymore. We got a new quarterback. Um, Venables is still there. He's an okay coach, but there's still those stains of the 2022 season. I think them coming into the SEC is going to be a big wake-up call. It's I think it's going to improve the program because SEC football is a lot better than Big 12 football. I'll just leave that at that. So let's just jump into this. Against Temple, give me a W. Against Houston, W. Against Tulane, W. Against Tennessee, I think that can be a W. Like, I really, I really do. Start the season strong, 4-0. Why not? Plus, it's like it's Tennessee, where they haven't played the us, we haven't played them. Okay, on the road against Auburn. Oh, gosh. I don't even... House of Horrors moment. Where it's like, oops, we dropped one. Oh, my hell. Am I sleeping? Am I sleeping on my own Sooners? I forgot they went 6-0. Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now I'm remembering how this game ended. Just because of how rivalries are and how it goes back and forth and how it's been going back and forth the last couple of seasons. Because I remember in 2022, they got blinked. Wasn't it 55 nothing? Hold on, I gotta double check this. Like, they lost big time. Like, I remember 49 to nothing. Yeah, 49 to nothing. Like, I remember ESPN cut away to a different game. It was that boring. I'm gonna put it as a loss because it goes back and forth every single year. It goes back and forth every single year. I think, I think Quinn Ewers is gonna get his revenge. So to this point, one, two, three, four. We got five and two against an undefeated Ole Miss team. Another tough loss. But then we bounce back. We beat Maine. Six and two versus six and three. Who's better? Oklahoma or Missouri? I think that's gonna be a close game. Okay, at home against Alabama. No. On the road in Death Valley. I gotta give it to the Tigers, man. They would be much, much, much more favorable in that matchup. Plus, it's going to be a road game. It's going to be Oklahoma's first time in Death Valley. So, 7-5. and five. That's not good. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's middle of the pack. Middle of the pack average. And these t these wins could go either way. Like, I mean, if they beat... It, like, let's say Auburn sucks this year. Okay, Auburn sucks this year and they beat Texas. Okay. Now we're just looking at a three-loss team. Okay, because realistically, these two losses were opinion-based. But, I mean, I don't, I don't see them beating Bama. Now, if this was the old, I mean, 2017 squad against Bama, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, all day. Now, when it flips to... Let's say, for example, so they've already done one year in the SEC. We go to next year. At Tennessee, I can still see that being a win. But at home against Auburn, yes, that could be a win. At home against Old Miss, yes, that could be a win. On the road, probably not. But at home against LSU, definitely a win. At home against Missouri, definitely a win. So, I mean, it's a tough year to, you know, Kind of like that 2022 season where it's like, okay, here's Venables first year as our head coach. Okay, here's our first year in the SEC. But like once things get comfortable, I think Oklahoma will be back on the map where they were back 
between 2015 to 2019, 2020. It just, it just takes time to not reload, but like programs don't just turn it around instantly, especially if they've become so accustomed to their conference and ruling their conference, which their conference was kind of weak, if I'm being honest, to now, okay, now we're in the SEC where we got to go play LSU, we got to go play Bama, we got to go play Auburn. Thoughts on that? Okay, let's go to our next. Thank you.